Today I want to talk about hard drives and more specifically about network drives and why and how I use them in my work. I know it's not the most exciting of topics. Uh, as a filmmaker, I would rather talk about some interesting, uh, you know, lighting setups or some cool film ideas. But at the end of each long film shoot, there comes a time where we all end up with bits and bits of data that represent all of our creative and hard work. Uh, so it's equally important to know how to handle that data. In my work, I use lots of different drives to store all of my files. Now, you definitely want to have a minimum, I would say, of two copies in different locations of each of your projects, but even more copies are better. Uh, recently, however, I started using network drives in my workflow, specifically because they've come a long way since they were first available. They're easier to set up now and are a lot more practical to use. Uh, in my home office, I use the Western Digital My Cloud Home. Uh, it's a personal cloud storage device. Uh, it comes in a simple but nice uh, design case. Inside it, there's a 1.4 GHz Realtek A53 quad-core processor uh, with 1 gig of DDR3L RAM. Plus, uh, there's a hard drive. Now, my cloud home comes in different sizes with 2 terabytes up to 8 terabytes. If 8 terabytes of space is not enough for you, then you can also get the my cloud home duo with 20 terabytes. It is compatible with Windows, Mac, OS, iOS, and Android. Uh, even if you don't know anything about network drives, then you won't have any problems setting up this bad boy. It's as simple as the instructions that come with it, uh, say. Literally just plug the provided network cable from your drive to your internet router, uh, then plug in the power cable, and once you see the light flashing, uh, just start up your phone, uh, download the MyCloud uh, app, and then just follow the instructions on how to set up the drive. It takes less than a minute, and you'll end up with a hard drive that you can access from any mobile device or computer. This is even great when you just want to have a lot more space to store all of your photos and uh, videos that you take on your phone. Uh, as you can set up the app to automatically upload your files to the drive, uh, doesn't matter where you are as long as you have internet access. You will also be able to access all of your files remotely as long as you leave the drive plugged in to your home network. Now where this thing comes in real handy is when I'm working on various film projects. Uh, from camera tests to location scouts, I can right away upload all of my footage to the drive. So I know when I come home, I already have a copy of all my files on my local drive that I can right away access from my home computer. Uh, also, when I'm editing a project with another artist uh, who, let's say, is you know, in a completely different uh, location than I am, then I can still easily share and give him access to the files so we can both work from the same files and directory structure. It's also a great way to automatically back up all of your projects at the end of each day as the provided software allows you to do that. Uh, at the back of the drive, you'll also find a USB 3.0 Type-A port uh, this allows you to plug in other devices such as USB flash drives and external hard drives so you can copy all of your files. Uh, you can even stream your videos from anywhere uh, on almost any device, uh, again using the MyCloud Home mobile and desktop apps or uh, by accessing it through the MyCloud site. My only problem with this drive is that the USB port uh, works only with specific drives. If you want to see a list of all the supported drives, then just check out uh, all of that info uh, by following the link to my website. If you haven't thought before uh, about getting a network drive because you just didn't know what was the advantage, or maybe you did think about it, but you were a little scared uh, with all the complicated setup, then hopefully this will convince you that now is the time uh, to add a network storage to your home studio workflow. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did uh, and if you want to let me know, then please hit the like button and leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.